The following wave pattern is produced by a transverse wave that takes four seconds to complete one vibration. So from that, we know that the period of our transverse wave is four seconds, right? And then the first question, 3.1 is saying, let's define the term transverse wave, right? So a transverse wave, it's a wave where the particles of the medium vibrate at right angles to the direction of motion of the wave, right? Uh, so as you can see here on the left hand side, uh, the particles are going up and down while the transverse wave moves from A to B, right? So they're moving at right angles to the direction of the motion. So that's uh, the definition for a transverse wave. And then 3.2 says let's determine the frequency of the wave, right? Uh, so we have already deduced that uh, the period is equal to 4 seconds, right? Why are we saying the period is equal to 4 seconds? Because we have been told that it takes the wave 4 seconds to complete one vibration. So we can say that uh, the frequency is equal to 1 divided by the period, right? That is just 1 divided by 4 which is equal to 0 0.25 hertz, right? Uh, so the frequency of this wave is 0 0.25 hertz. And then now off to the next question, 3.3. So 3.3 is saying that if the speed of the wave is 0 0.05 meters per second, let's calculate the value of x in millimeters. So let's go and look at x, right? So x runs from this point to this point, right? Uh, so let's look at x in terms of wavelength right so from here if we keep going to this point we have one wavelength right and then from that point to this point we have half a wavelength so we can say that x is equal to 1.5 wavelength right we can see clearly from the sketch that x is indeed 1.5 wavelength so if we calculate the wavelength then we can just substitute the wavelength here and determine the value of x in millimeters, right? So let's go ahead and do that. We are told that the velocity is equal to 0 0.05 meters per second. We know that the period is equal to 4 seconds and the frequency is equal to 0 0.25 hertz, right? So we can see that uh, the velocity is equal to uh, the wavelength divided by the period. So what is the velocity? The velocity is 0 0.05 and then uh, the wavelength is what we're looking for and the period is 4 seconds. We can go ahead and cross multiply. So we're going to have wavelength being equals to 4 multiplied by 0 0.05 which is equals to 0 0.2 meters. So wavelength is equals to 0 0.2 meters, right? So now we can go ahead and see that x will be equals to uh, 1.5 multiplied by 0 0.2, right, uh, what the wavelength is. And then if you compute that, uh, we should get 0 0.3 meters, stretch. Right? Uh, but then let's not forget, our question say that uh, we need the value of x in millimeters and not in meters, right? So we're just going to say that x is equals to 0 0.3 multiply by a thousand right so this shall be equals to 300 millimeters so that's how we essentially solve this kind of problems and now let's move to the next one 3.4 3.4 is saying that how long in seconds does it take for a particle to move from point a to point b right let me show you something so it takes the particle four seconds to move one wavelength right so from a up to this point it takes four seconds so we have the first four seconds right and then from here up to this point we take another four seconds right that's the period of the wave and then from that point uh, to this point that's a third four seconds and then from this point to this point we have half a wavelength so that is going to take uh, two seconds right uh, so we have the time we are looking for being equals to the first four seconds the second one, uh, the third, and the two for the half wavelength we have at the end, right? So that will be 4, 8, 12, 14. So we have 14 seconds, right? It is the time we take to move from point A to point B.